What's up, Internet? Dice Quirk here, and today I'm going to be telling you about me and my wife Edith's time here in quarantine. It's going to be a quarantine update for the JET program. Currently, we're on the 11th day of the JET program's 15-day quarantine. And suffice to say, it's been a whole lot of the same thing. And I will uh, kind of explain that inside of this video. But you know what? I look a little bit crazy, <laughs> disheveled. So why don't we fix that real quick? Excellent. Now, in this video, I'm actually going to be telling you about a couple different facets of our quarantine. First, I'm going to start with the orientation materials and talk a little bit about that. Then, I'm going to talk about the meals that they're serving us here. And I'm also going to talk about some of the things we've been doing to stay sane or eh, close to sane. So, let's not waste time and let's get to it. To get started, let's talk about the orientation materials. Now, typically, whenever you're in the JET program, when you arrive in Japan, you'll do a three to four day orientation in Tokyo. And this will be a live orientation where you go to different workshops and they help prepare you for your entire time within the program. Now, this time around, because we're in quarantine, they want to make the absolute most out of this 15 day period that you're inside of your hotel room. Now. Because of that, they have made a number of different videos and put a number of different videos together into a schedule. In this schedule, there will be a number of different videos or websites or books for you to check out each day. And on some days, it'll even require you to check out or ask you to check out the Japanese course that's offered by the JET program. Now, this year, unlike previous years, this Japanese course offered by the JET program is actually required. So, in previous years you didn't have to take it, this year you have to. And so, uh, you choose which level you're going to go into and you move on from there. But, in addition to that, there are also some days when you'll do live Zoom orientations. Now, during these live Zoom orientations, uh, you're going to be in a group with a bunch of other people and you'll have kind of little breakout rooms and everything else. It's great material, but uh, after each one of these live presentations, you also have to do two surveys for that live orientation. Also, with all of the other material that I mentioned before, at the end of each day, just to make sure that you're actually doing all of the material and taking care of it, JET is requiring you to do a survey of that day as well. So you'll have the one survey for the complete day, then you'll have two surveys for each live orientation. Now, there was one day where I had two live orientations during the day, and then I also had the rest of my daily materials. So that was a day full of materials and then four, sorry, five <laughs> surveys. Now, that's not every day. And in fact, there are some days that are much lighter than others, but some days, all this stuff can be a little bit tired. Next, let's talk about the meals. So each day you'll get three separate meals. And I'm sure that this is the same for any of the hotels that you're going to be assigned to from JET. Uh, but they'll assign one time for your breakfast, one time for your lunch, and one time for your dinner. And basically what they do is they hang up a little bag with a bento kind of meal uh, on your doorknob. Now, <laughs> it's so sad because at the very beginning of this quarantine. I was trying to make it a point to eat everything on every bento, but after the bentos started to repeat themselves, and it was pretty quick when they started to have repeat bentos, um, <laughs> it started to become very hard. Uh, and some people have actually just been completely skipping meals because they just don't like the food inside of them. I wouldn't say that they're actually bad. It's just a matter of it's so repetitive. And we didn't find out until the fourth day here that we're allowed to go to a little cafe that's on the first floor and we're allowed to order takeout from there. Uh, we also can order food from the Kambini, but uh, when you get assigned to a hotel, if you do, uh, just make sure you ask your jet desk, which you'll have to report to every single day for temperature checks. Uh, mine is at 10 o'clock every single day. Uh, but just ask them if you're allowed to order takeout from any of the food places or restaurants uh, inside of your hotel because Every now and then, sometimes you don't want the cold food that's inside of the bento every day, uh, which is something I didn't mention. All of the bentos are cold. Uh, there is not a single warm dish in any of them. Not one. Really. None. 
And so uh, you're gonna want a warm meal every now and then. So that's definitely something to check into. Uh, in addition, this food system, uh, which, you know, so most days it's different, but uh, because there's some bland food in there, it's led to this interesting kind of prison currency, not prison currency, uh, hotel quarantine currency. And it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, I'll tell you about our hotel currency, but I can't guarantee that it's gonna be the same inside of your hotel. Uh, salt is way up there, okay? That is definitely one of the high uh, bidders, okay? Then you also have jam uh, for your bread that typically is served in the morning. And that's typically something nobody would trade. So if you can, you know, save it, you're either gonna make some great friends later or you're going to be able to get some really high bids when you trade with other people inside of the hotel. Um, actually, uh, it's pretty crazy what you can get with some of these trades. There we go. Got mustard, ketchup, all oh, the salt, can't forget the salt. Definitely got the that in there. The dressing, the soy sauce, it, yeah, it's worth it. Two jellies. Okay. It's worth it. Yeah, when I think back to that, I still think you ripped me off. But having said that, uh, because you're gonna wanna be able to make these um, quarantine hotel exchanges, you're going to need some way to keep in contact with everybody. And this is just one of the ways that we've kind of staved off boredom uh, during our stay here in the hotel. You're going to want to make sure that you're connected with everybody through either uh, a line chat, which I highly recommend the line chat because a lot of people here in Japan use it as well. And also if you want to keep in contact with people from home, uh, having line or Facebook messenger is a good way to do that because it doesn't charge you for international calls. And it also uh, is completely free if you're using it over Wi-Fi. So uh, definitely join a jet line chat before you move over, especially a line chat that's going to be your cohort uh, coming over to Japan. Uh, but yeah, uh, be inside the line chat. And also, they do have two 20-minute social exchanges, which we attended one of them. Uh, it was kind of, it was a lot of fun. Uh, the second one we missed because I just wasn't feeling great that day. But uh, definitely make sure you check those out. Of course, there's a bunch of different ways that people have been staving off boredom. Uh, not everything is a quarantine hotel exchange. In fact, uh, some people are playing video games. Some people are watching Netflix or just other things on their you know TVs. Um, and a lot of people have been going out into the garden. Uh, our hotel has a small little garden. Basically, it's uh, just you walk around it real quick. Sometimes people sit down to read and then they'll come inside. Uh, but one of the most common practices that I've heard about from all of the other jets is staring out the window. I'll be honest, this is probably one of the things I do most. And it's actually crazy, some of the things I've seen. I'll be staring out the window some days for just so much time. I'm not even gonna give an, a number on it, okay? I'll be staring out the window and then I'll see something crazy outside and I'll be freaking out like, look at this, do you see this? This guy, I, who messed up these parking lines so bad? And then, dude, this guy's parking outside. Of, there are so many parking spots over there in so many different directions. You can clearly fit into one of them. Like, what is going on here? Uh, the other night I actually saw a dog. Uh, it was crazy, it was, it was walking with a person. Like, I haven't seen that in so long. But yeah, that, that's the thing. We have these awesome windows and it's just incredible. You can see so much. I, I am so excited to leave. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, that's basically everything we've been doing. 
I am so glad that you've checked out this video. And if you found it entertaining or helpful, or if you have any questions about things that we're doing here inside of the hotel, please feel free to leave a comment, to like the video, to subscribe, or, um, you know, please talk to me. Please talk. I would love to hear from you all. Just put something in the comments. <laughs> We, we are so bored, so bored every day. I, help. <laughs>